Hi, I'm Becca, and this is my husband, Gabe. That's me. Welcome to the podcast celebrating Jack Russell Terrier Dogs. And all the joys of companionship with canines of every kind. Each week, we'll explore all the heartfelt, humbling, and hilarious stories that only dog parents can truly relate to. We're Jack Russell Parents. In the not-so-distant future, genetically enhanced dogs are sent across the universe in search of a new home for the human race. It's a giant cosmic game of fetch as the canines seek a planet that will save humanity and, more importantly, let them return to their beloved owners. That's the description on AtomicCartoons.com for their brand new Too Cute for Words Netflix animated series, Dogs in Space. Created by Jeremiah Cortez and show run by Adam Henry. Dogs in Space co-stars a corgi, chihuahua, bulldog, shih tzu, Shetland sheepdog, and of course, a Jack Russell Terrier. Woohoo! Well, that pretty much guarantees its success. Absolutely. Having a JRT in it, that's going to make it awesome for sure. But in addition to that great bit of casting, the animation is amazing, the voiceover chemistry is wonderful, and the writing is definitely alpha status. And there's just the right amount of clever canine jokes. So there's this part where a giant monster is holding the dog's ship and keeping it from flying away and says, Be a good boy and stay! Sorry, but today, I'm a bad boy. (laughs) Yes, yes, I love it. (laughs) <laughs> they're being bad boys. So my favorite aspect of the show is probably how, with a minimal style, the brilliant artists at Atomic Cartoons capture each breed so amazingly. With just a few lines, you can totally tell which distinct breed each character is. Totally. And the talented humans starring in Dogs in Space are equally awesome. Mm-hmm. There's Haley Joel, I See Dead People Osman Ooh. from The Sixth Sense, Sarah Chalk from Scrubs, Kimiko Glenn from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Deborah Wilson from Over the Hedge, William Jackson Harper from The Good Place, love that guy, and Chris Parnell from Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Wow, that's quite the lineup. That's awesome. And I'd have to say, though, that the most unrealistic aspect about dogs in space is not the genetically enhanced dogs flying a ship through space, (laughs) not them landing on and scouting other planets. Okay. Not them speaking with each other as well as with extraterrestrials. There's something more unrealistic than that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay but... And I mean no disrespect to the makers of this amazing work, but the most unrealistic part of the show is having a corgi in charge when a Jack Russell Terrier is in the pack. Oh, of course. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. No doubt. Uh, no disrespect to corgis either, but yeah. y'all know it's true. Uh-huh. I mean, either way, Dogs in Space is a can't-miss Netflix show worthy of a serious binge. For real. Whether they find humanity a new planet or fill the black holes in our hearts, dogs are exactly what we all need during these troubling times. We give Dogs in Space four enthusiastic paws up. Aloha Mama Apparel wants to spread the spirit of aloha. Genesis Belote, the creator of Aloha Mama Apparel, was born on the mainland and resides in Southern California. But she cherishes her Hawaiian culture and honors the half of her family that lives on the island. She loves being a mama and a designer. At Aloha Mama, they know being a mama is hard work, but it's the best work. That's why they style mamas and kiddos in apparel that is bright and filled with beachy vibes. For the cutest casual attire celebrating the spirit of Aloha, go to shopalohamama.com. That's shop, A-L-O-H-A-M-A-M-A.com. Shopalohamama.com. Did you enjoy this episode? Did you learn from the content? Or did you just have a good, relatable laugh? Well, now what? It's time to subscribe, follow, keep listening, and give a positive review on the Apple Podcast app. 
Then share the podcast with other puppy parents. This will allow us to connect you and your friends with fun, dog-loving content week after week. Until next time, this is Becca and Gabe, the Jack Russell parents. Say bye, Carson. (laughs) We'd love to connect with you online at jackrussellparents.com or on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at JRT Podcasts. That's at JRT for Jack Russell Terrier Podcast. The Jack Russell Parents Podcast is produced by Earball Audio. Jack Russell Parents is brought to you in part by Super Chewer. From the makers of BarkBox, Super Chewer is a themed monthly delivery of toys and treats made especially for dogs who play harder and demand a challenge. Simply go to jackrussellparents.com and click the Super Chewer link to enjoy their great offers while also supporting our podcast.